Hey, 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 guess what? It's story time again. And guess what? Mickey and Minnie are saying hello. And I think we're going to have a good time. So let's ring in the new year happy, happy together. So come on with me. And we got to leave the safety of the shore because our Prince of Peace is out in the deep. He is our living luck of the Irish. And if you follow after him, it, there ain't no Murphy's Law there because uh, I've discovered that if it can't go wrong, it will, it does. But there is nothing about love that can go wrong, not divine love, because love is only love if you give it away. Love only irresistibly desires to be irresistibly desired. Love is forgiveness and forgiveness is love. And the Lord God is all merciful, giving his kingdom age covenant to you and to me and to all of us. And he is saying, as the, the bells in heaven ring, He's saying, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember your sin. I'll write my law and my love on your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore, says the Lord. And uh, that lets perfect love cast out all fear. And God is removing our spiritual bondage, uh, removing the veil of the... Uh, kingdom aids so we can see through a glass darkly no more so that we can shine as the stars that we have been cr fearfully and created to be because all of creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who we are Jesus said we're gods in John 10 I tell you we're angels in the flesh or we can be demons uh, but if we don't commit uh, unforgivable sin all will be forgiven Jesus said even sin against him would be forgiven uh, so if you're not believing in Jesus were to be a sin he said even that would be forgiven what's not forgiven is to let your love light go out the unforgivable sin uh, so leave the land of the walking dead Jesus said you got to be as a little child uh, with our love alive as a verb moving in motion not not ending up as a noun while you're standing in the land of the walking dead having a form of godliness but denying the power of love because love is Jesus and God living in us. And all those who love are born of him and know him because he is love. So let's get with that program and that understanding. So yay and amen. And it's time to boogie on down to a new song, a new understanding. So come on out. Come out into the deep and we'll have a good time. I hope. So praise the Lord in time to pass the ammunition and it's time to raise our hands unto our makers. And uh, I'm going to leave the lights on this time for a uh, change. I forgot to turn them off, and I'm too lazy to go back over there. I've only been recording seven hours straight, preaching seven hours straight to nobody. I am another Noah. Noah, in these days, as Noah's, Noah, the original Noah, he spent many years building an ark for nobody who wanted, who wanted a ride. I spent many years, almost 20 years, writing the everlasting gospel for nobody that ever wanted to hear it. <laughs> but I love the Lord, and I've studied to show myself approved. If you uh, Google my name, you're going to Daniel F. Owsley. Google Images, and you'll see some of the 200 books that I have written. I think since I got a commercial here and the music's not on, I think I will turn off the light because I like the ambiance of uh, cool light. Because the greatest light is our light of love. And that's who he's calling us all by our own name. So let's go out and come out because we need to be ringing the bell because if we ring the bell then we will know it's dinner time for the great mountain of meat is here jesus said in matthew 24 who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away and my name is daniel he is elijah task servant who i've done everything in vain isaiah 49 uh this channel uh my other channel has 2,700 videos and 13 subscribers. I'm preaching knowingly to white air because of my obedience unto love. So let the year of Jubilee now be proclaimed afar. Go then forth all ye messengers of the ignited 144,000 Jews 
will be ignited from this channel as, as they declare love over the world like uh, like ten men, each one of them. And uh, so praise God that it's time to declare that the love of God has been manifested once again for the rescue of a be bewildered and, and embittered race. So let the heavens echo the greatest glad news of this gospel of Christ's praise and resound with man's most cheerful worship uh, that humbles all righteous souls in these days burning as an oven because the righteous, uh, the religious people will have no ground to stand upon, no, neither root nor branch to hold on to. These are days burning as an oven by God's love that is more fervent and more passionate than any volcano in action. So praise God that uh, he is bringing forth the blood of life, the only worthy sacrifice that he was slain before the foundation of the earth. And all people of love will never perish, but will always be assured of having everlasting life and everlasting love by his most holy decree. So it's time for a lamentation of a fallen race. And uh, so here on planet earth, oh God, here is a fallen being. I am a fallen being. And I well know the sin, my sin. And I have sinned. My soul is not upright. I'm an alcoholic. Today's my whiskey night. I drink uh, twice a week. Pretty disciplined. But know that the sinner has presumed upon your government and touched it with impious hands, touched the flaming sword, and the unloving person has dared vengeance, trifled with your will, O oh God, and contended with er eternal and ir 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 I can't say it, uh, ir irrevocable justice. So Adam's rebellion can't be reversed. Man has fallen. He's fallen. I'm going to do this. I'm going to whisper Because the truth is, this vision was written for the appointed time, and let all those who readeth it run. Habakkuk 2.2, two, the writer of the revelator of the book of Revelation, and I. Man is fallen, he lies bruised, mangled, expiring by the folly of his own wretched ways. But yet, O oh Lord God, he has created us, mankind, to be an immortal being, intellectual, hence accountable, spiritual, hence by sin we have lied on the verge of a bottomless abyss, where if we fall by letting our love light go out, the unforgivable sin, we would feel terrible, immortal pangs evermore, and we would be forced into dwelling everlastingly in continual, unremitting woe. So it's time to realize that nor should any enlightened souls ever forget that because of Jesus Christ's overflowing compassion, the prophet Isaiah prophesied, saying, A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench, until he brings forth judgment of love unto truth. And it is judgment with love. The reeds are broken, but not entirely broken. And the flickering blaze of the smoking flax, though expiring, still exists so that it can be saved before it dies. But uh, know that Jesus will always uphold all loving people. And so shall it be, even now is it, that our Lord of all will always be near the brokenhearted and will be saving all those crushed in spirit during the reaping of his great harvest of love. And as it starts, the wheat can no longer uh, grow with the tares. The wheat will only come with me. And from the mercy seat on high, the decree has come forth that the unsteady flames within the hearts of the elect of Elohim shall be saturated with an abundance of joy's overflowing oil so that their inward fires might become fervent and burn ever so brightly with the greatest glory of our endless forgiver if only they will stir up their love unto overflowing. 
divine hugs will await the obedient people of love. And at that time shall the Lord's loving arms embrace all those bravely reflecting his brightest shining light. And then such blessed souls will be all aglow with the heaviest cloak of holiness that's belonging to that judge of judges. And then all people will lift up the word of God high and they will proclaim every knee will bow unto love who is the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 John 4, 7. That is his name. Those who love are born again of him and know him because he is love. And every tongue will confess him for he is Lord of all and Lord of always and nor does he change. So praise the Lord that they will therefore come to understand and by it they'll be able to put on their happy face. And maybe Trump's got that right. Let's make it great again. This whole world, it can be done by love. So know that uh, by walking his narrow way of love, uh, he allows enlightened souls to walk with the utmost reverence so that lo with love every step that they take. But uh, for that reason, Emmanuel often demonstrated to multitudes that people should never spoil what they have by desiring what they don't have. Uh, and all they need to do is step back and remember that everything they presently have was once among the things that they only hoped for. So have a little faith. The kingdom age will arise. A uh, chicken in every pot and a uh, vine over every house. And there will be no more prisons on this world as they have been known. There will be new penal colonies like Australia started out to be. So more importantly, our infinite liberator now desires that God's royal priesthood needs to let their hearts be changed in good ways, in blessed ways, so that they can become worthy souls uh, that they've always wanted to see earth filled with. So we got to be the solution to the problems because love is the only solution for this whole world. And by the time anyone hears all about the life of our uh, last Adam within this word of his love, uh, love's greatest goodness, they'll also come to see that Jesus Christ is not only everything miraculously possible, uh, he is what's possible in everything concerning their own hearts, continually softening if they will only submit unto the Lordship of love. And so it's time to be empty and restless if, if we have not Christ, if we're not focusing on that to get us ahead so that we can become overcomers and arise in victory because he is the victory of all that are victorious. And because that living voice of creation made all the humanity for himself, our soul shall evermore remain most discontented if we can finally rest within them, within his unchanging adoration. But in the days ahead, any believer in that light of love should also definitely uh, know that he only cares for, for them, be, not because they're good, but because he loves us all. And so they should know that he'll do everything possible uh, to move heaven and earth and helping people to be good since he always loves them. And due to Christ's overflowing love, his brethren needs to comprehend that no matter how skillful a thief might be, there are no robbers that can steal our knowledge of faith because both are safe treasures that we have acquired by love. So it's time that we do a little dance and it's time that we have the happy face on and it's time to be obedient unto love and it's time to lift up our hands and it's time to be a joyful happy person because Christ is smiling upon us and so as I close uh, make sure you tell people about this channel somebody out there someday might even give me a comment but uh, I'm having a lonely time out here but the joke is going to be on the world everyone ignoring me because it is written after a time times and half a time once the everlasting gospel comes with the everlasting covenant guess what's going to happen uh, the shattering of the power of the holy people religion is going to fall apart because of this ministry